Hi there. Uh, lately I've been, uh, let's just say, going through something of a photographic doldrum. I've been very, very busy taking family shots and things like that, but with regards to photography for its own sake, photography just for the sake of taking photographs, uh, photography as art, well, I haven't done much. Uh, I haven't done anything that you might consider to be uh, uh, based on a theme or anything other than family. I've been taking family pictures, lots and lots and lots of family pictures, and very much enjoying it, I must say. But getting back now, now that the family have all gone back home, getting back to uh, life as it was before, I find myself in a little bit of a flat spot. That's when I turn to uh, YouTubers like uh, Sean Tucker. Sean Tucker does not dwell on the details of the cameras he uses. He does not dwell on the details of the settings he uses. He talks about the why. He gets into a lot of detail about... Uh, how his journey in life has led him to where he is now. I find that far more inspirational than listening to the latest video telling me how wonderful the latest camera from, you know, Canon or Nikon or Sony or Fujifilm or whatever. <clears throat> Rather than gear-related, he makes me think about the photography I'm taking. I'm in a an unusual situation, you might say, in photography, in that I see myself primarily as a people photographer. However, I'm not getting into portrait photography. I am not. Let, let's put things on the table right now. I really am not a photographer. I'm a guy with a fair amount of knowledge about photography, who has a camera, who takes some really nice pictures sometimes. But I don't see myself as being a photographer. I don't see myself as having the, the commitment to the process that many of my friends have. Their work is often exemplary. They do tend to stick with one particular uh, genre or subject matter or whatever and work at it till they get good results, whereas I tend to sort of faddle around at all sorts of different things. But here's the difference. I may not see myself as a photographer, but I do see myself as a teacher. What knowledge I have of photography, I can share. Uh, hopefully these videos have been of some help to people in some way. I mean, today, this video is not going to teach you much of anything, but hopefully it will get you thinking about your own photography. I'm going to be carrying a camera with me pretty much constantly for the rest of this year. I am going to be trying a lot of different things. I am hopefully going to be able to find the niche that I really need to fit in. And if I can do that, then it will have been a very productive time. Now, when I use the word niche, I, I, as soon as I said it, I realized it was probably not a good idea. I don't want to see myself pigeonholed into one particular type of photography, but I do want to find my personal vision in whatever photography I choose to play around in. In the past, my successes, uh, or at least success from my personal standpoint, we're not talking about success as being a function of how many likes something gets. We're not talking about success as a function of how much money it produces. Remember, I am not a professional photographer. These pictures are just for me. But at one of the uh, car shows that took place a few years ago, I realized that I was taking pictures of cars that I could easily find in a magazine. 
So I instead started looking at the details. So suddenly I had a whole series of pictures of emblems and hood ornaments and little details that set one car apart from another. Most of these cars were cars from the 50s and 60s, a time when there was a great deal more individuality in vehicles. You may not have liked them, but you have to admit that uh, it was quite easy to tell one car from another, and those details meant a lot. Now, that's just one area, because automobiles is something I'm interested in, and of course, that's what you need to do. Find the things you're interested in and work with them. Uh, I've talked about gear here too often. Uh, yes, I have gear acquisition syndrome. Uh, yes, uh, I have been struggling to deal with it. I have gotten rid of a lot of gear. I have procured some new gear. However, my overall collection is considerably smaller than it once was. So, I'll take it as a partial success. Well, guys, my advice to you is simple. Go online and start looking for YouTubers who are not basically trying to sell you something. Find the YouTubers who have something important to say. I use Sean T Tucker as an example because uh, the depth to which he shares his personal experience makes it really worthwhile. Uh, there are many other channels, though, as well, where you are going to find out more about photography and less about cameras. Well, if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more of my videos, by all means, subscribe to this channel. And, of course, if you think anybody is going to get something useful from this or any of my other videos, by all means, share them. Bye for now.